What is up, YouTube? Jamie the Kid Zero Zero here, coming to you guys with part one of the Book of Wind. Um, for this one, I'm going to be playing a really trashy Dragoonity list that I literally just threw together um, for the purposes of this video. Um, let's let's face it, I I I work full time. I can't be testing a lot of these lists before I uh, before I get these videos put together, or I will just never produce anything. So I figured I'd, uh, I'd throw something like this together, and we'll see what happens. I know most of the principles of um, kind of some of the combo plays in this deck, and I'm taking I'm playing a few kind of fun tech cards with the claw of hair most to make um, the the black dragon sword. Um, so I wanted to kind of see how that goes. So for the moment, we've opened up. We haven't opened up that poorly. Um, we're going to be met by a turn one curry bandit. Um, so if we can get Vajriana on board, we could probably OTK if we can get Lance off the draw. I'm hoping we can get Lance off the draw, but if we can't, that's okay. So he's going to either add, uh, either add Mass Change 2 or Charge, and he's going to add the Mass Change 2. So for the next turn, we draw into a Phalanx. Okay. So we're going to start things off. Hmm. Kind of wish I had a way into Brandis Stock. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have one. I mean, first of all, we're going to Terra. We've got to terraform in, so we're gonna get ourselves a little, a little bit of ravine action. Um, on this one, I mean, I can, ooh, I can poke him for thirty-eight once and black dragon sword, but I'm not sure how many dragons I'd have in grave at the time. Uh, I'd only have the one, so the monster I equip it to. Oh, for each dragon type on the field. That's a that's annoying. Um, I mean, because we're gonna activate this. Uh, effective ravine. I don't think we win this turn. So I figure we should just go for like the safest bet, which is just one of the standard ducks plays. I mean, as as per my usual theme, I will I've probably missed an OTK, but you guys know I always miss them. So, oopsie. Um, effective ducks. Hoping it goes through. Um. Then I think we're just gonna have to go through the old the old play. Uh, phalanx. Synchro. Uh, for the Vajrayana. Um, effect. Vajrayana is going to res this. And frustratingly, I could dump this over the Vajrayana. Oh, sorry, I could dump this over the Phalanx. Uh, that would give us 4,000. Still wouldn't be enough. Uh, Phalanx, drop these two off, because at least now we're stocking our graveyard with a rather healthy quantity of um, dragons. Uh, we'll special the Stardust, go for the battle phase, stick him for 25. So at least now he's rather killable. Set the mirror, um, and we can pass there. I don't think that was... That was Shameless. But it's annoying that he saw three light swans there, um, and mass change two being in his deck brings me to question. You know what we could encounter essentially? Because a, a Goka's pretty big, not Goka. Um, the light guy is uh, pretty damn big. Got a Necros core built here. I'm just considering my extra deck while we play this game. So we met with a charge of the light brigade, ah, milling him into all the lights he needs, so he can now drop JD on me willy nilly, which is never good. Lumina comes out, oh, or he can make some sort of, he can make Michael, which is sad. So you can Michael my Stardust. Do we get OTK'd and blown out here? That is the question. So the JD is specialed. Okay. Is he going to try and attack first? Which, in which case, we can mirror force him, and it gets really quite funny. Uh, so he summons Lumi. Okay. Target. 
Uh, who, who's who's going to bother asking? Or is he going to bait? Yeah, he's just going to Michael, surely. Michaeling is the correct play. Raiden's effect hitting Solar and Raiko. Synchroing into the mighty Michael. Yep. Paying the thousand to banish my Stardust. Yep. Uh oh. Okay. Target in the back row. Pew. So he's making sure he can attack. Okay. That's cool. So we'll take five. Okay, we'll take one hundred. Oh, okay. So we'll take uh twenty seven. I think. Yep. And then we'll take oh three thousand off of the old judgment dragon. And he will mask change for the OTK. Same attribute but higher level. And he'll swing for twenty five. So that's game one. That was uh depressing. Next uh next next game. We opened pretty well last game as well. We just got completely thrown out. Um, I mean, we'll go first this time. Let's experiment with that idea. I don't really like going first with this deck, but let's give that a go. Ooh. Uh, join the end phase. Let's go. Awesome. Terraforming. It's a really nice hand we got here. Really, really nice hand, actually. Because uh, we can terraforming for the ravine. Um, pop that in the grave. Activate ravine. I'm actually gonna. I want to hold the lance. So normally I could just search ducks and have a second ducks, but I'm actually just gonna hold the lance for now. So um, F harpis. Uh, well F ravine. Oh, actually, do I want to go like ham jam? Because I really want to go ham jam. Screw it, life's for living. <laughs> Good ducks. Um, normal ducks. Activate divine lance, F lance. Um, getting him. Wherever he is, the mighty phalanx. Um, monster zone this guy and I mean here I can actually keep this on board if I go into the mislatane play which I can do um, so I can actually go grave special F mist uh, move this to the monster zone um, and then we can go grave grave Make. Tempted to make Spark Dragon here to protect this in particular. I think we'll go Spark Dragon. Set the warning so we're Trish proof. Oh wait, we're not Trish proof. Um, and then we'll go End Phase Effective Harvest. So we're not Trish proof, but we've got the warning for that if we are playing against Necroz. Um, so we'll grab the ducks and pass there. Okay, let's see how this goes. At a uh, 192300 ducks, I believe. Because this is 19, because it's two Dragonite cards, plus four. Yeah, 23. Fairly strong. Setting a large number of back row, summoning Bora, 
passing turn. Next turn, draw Hermos. Okay. Temptation to play it safe is rising here. There's a lot of back row to worry about. I'm going to go with the effect of Divine Lance. Delta Crow is triggered to destroy my face down. Okay. Divine Lance resolves. Getting me. I'm tempted to go Brandistock here just to get the attacks going. We'll go with Brandy. Because now we have a 2500 double attacker that's unaffected by traps. Which is, in my opinion, quite strong. So, let's go battle phase. Let's attack with the ducks. Black Sonic uh, is unaffected by traps. But sadly, our, uh, our Spark Dragon is going to be no more. Dux is unaffected by traps due to Lance. This is the part where I'm going to run smack into a Kalut. Doesn't negate the attack. That continues, my friend. It's twenty five hundred. Two hundred for each trigger e card we control. One, two, three. So twenty one plus four. Uh, why two thousand one hundred? Why do you think it's that, pal? Read all the cards on the board, unless I've missed something myself. I control. Three dragon e cards. <sighs> right, and let's stick again. Second attack to Brandistock. Yeah, that goes through. Right. Main phase two. Tempted to hold this duck that we've got here. To be quite frank. I mean the one that's on the board's doing a pretty stunning job anyway. Um yeah, we'll let him we'll let it ride. Let it ride. Come on, ducks. Stick your way to victory, buddy. So Gale is summoned. Ooh, so its attack and defense are going to become 1,250. So we will be taking 50 points of damage. Our ducks falls. The Gale was quite nice. Oh, nice. So now we've seen his mirror force. He's not going to set it. Okay. Uh, here I reckon we can go for a game push. If we get lucky. We've got a lot of dragons in that old graveyard of ours. Um, F of ravine. <clears throat> So we're gonna get uh Mist Lutane. We 
I've never actually read Chlorophyllos. So should probably actually do that. Um, effect of ducks. Oh no! That's really strong. Yep. It's usually going to be on the summon. Um, we can we can spare a turn. Effect of harpist. It's gonna get me the final ducks. Go. Come at me, bro. Come at me so I can red eyes black dragon sword ya. Sword. Set to back row. Thirteen hundred to me face. My face place. Whenever the face a monster on the field, it gains a thousand attack and five hundred attack and defense for each dragon type monster on the field and in the graveyards. And I have one, two, three, four. So it's another three thousand points of damage. So we're going to go to the main phase. We're going to try the ducks again. Normal summon. F ducks. Icarus attack. Tributing Oroshi the squall. So we're going to lose our ducks and lose our ravine. Incredibly unfortunate. Um, here we'll pass and take another 1300. We're going to have to make our play through Miss Latane using a... I forgot the name of it now. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. The other guy that we're playing. Uh, the guy we use... The guy you normally use with Aculus. Um, so we'll go activate Ravine. F Ravine. Um, we're actually going to ditch the Compulse here because the Compulse is irrelevant. Um, Legionnaire, that was what I meant. So we're going to go with Legionnaire. Uh, get him to our hand. Um, normal summon the Legionnaire. Um, effect is going to get us a copy of. Ooh. Yeah, it's got to be Phalanx. Phalanx is going to jump itself into the monster zone. Um. Ooh. That's frustrating, actually. Um. If I had a second Phalanx in Grave, I could make a cool play. I could actually make the Hermos play, basically. Um, cause we know this is mirror force because he was bad and accidentally didn't set it. Um, so for the moment we have to ditch this, special this, F, uh, attaching this again. Um, let me see, does this protect from any traps or anything like that? No, it doesn't. Um, I think I have to. Monster zone this. I can make scrap dragon, which is bigger, big enough to also not die to collute. So if I go this, this, into the scrap dragon, F scrap, targeting uh, ravine and back row. Uh, one two three four. One two three. One, two, three, four, and it's going to be five. So this is going to increase by a factor of thirty. Five hundred. So if we go activate the claw of Heramos, sending scrap dragon, special summoning forth my red eyes black dragon sword. 
uh, effect. Equipping it to my legionnaire. And entering the battle phase. And swinging for 47. Wait, what's the issue? It's four thousand seven hundred. With the red eyes black dragon sword. My mighty beast. Come on, buddy. Pretty sure that's the. Ah, oh, he had the Kalut. Ah, so he takes the 2k. Um, but if he has, like, any kind of play, um, that's kind of depressing. If he draws, like, I don't know, Blizzard. Blizzard could be good. MST. <laughs> Poof. Goodbye, my black dragon sword. Goodbye. Next turn. Uh, we're just going to go battle phase. GG. Dragonities with a black dragon sword. I mean, this was only Blackwing, but I mean, it's uh, that, that was that was fun. I wanted to give a bit of showmanship to use the black dragon sword to swing for game to like swing for the game shot. But he had the Kalut. Oh, ninety nine versus one nine three. Oh, the stats, the stats. Uh, scissors. Nothing can beat scissors. Nothing can beat scissors at all, except for maybe Rock. But he doesn't know that. Nope, no sir. Come on, brother. Choose paper. Ha! I am the winner. So we'll go first again, because that was obvious. That obviously went well before. Um, so we're going to be met with an odd-sized extra deck, which is always refreshing. Uh, activate. Um, at this point, I think we have to just make a rather, rather solid. Just natural play of making Stardust Dragon. Um, it's frustrating. I'm just going to thin the deck at the moment. So we'll add the ravines out of it quick, quick. Uh, activate this ravine. Um, ravine. Sending this to add this. Uh, normal summon effect. Adding this to him. Um, I'm actually going to leave him on the board just because of the Shadol fear. Activate F Lance. Um, we're going to get. Uh, we'll get the Phalanx at this point. Um, or if. You <laughs> it's awkward actually. Um, for safety's sake, we can get the Phalanx, but we can also get the Atlas. I think we'll get the Phalanx at this point. Um, I'm definitely not against that idea. So we'll end the turn there. He should be. Uh, plus 800, so 23, uh, 27. 27 double attacker isn't that bad. But it did cost us a fair few cards to make. Thing is, one Regeki will take this all away from us. One monster destroying effect will take it all away from us. Or one big construct will take it all away as well. Um, but we'll see where it goes. We'll, you know, we can have faith. Definitely keeping the faith on this one. Where he goes with that, uh, we have no idea. We'll, uh, we'll see what he intends to do to me. So he's going to set a face down monster card, set two back row, um, and then end his turn. Draw. Claw of Hamos is drawn. Always great to see. Um, so we're going to go effect divine lance. Um, we're gonna equip one dragon type Drigunity Tuna Monster from the deck to our ducks. So we're gonna get the Atlas out of the deck. 
So he's now a 29 uh, large beta. Um, and I figure, why not get aggressive? So it's battle phase, attack with ducks. We are immune to traps due to our lance. And what face down horror are we going to be met with? If he's actually going to flip it. It's going to be Spirit Reaper. No. Spirit Reaper is like my one weakness. Um, main phase two. We actually can't get past it. Um, I'm going to end there. But we uh, we may find ourselves having to make a phalanx play. Which will be interesting. We can make some pretty cool plays next turn. Like we can lance, get another phalanx, make ducks, add the Ackleys, detach the Ackleys to make not ducks, uh make Vadriana. Attach the Ackleys, detach the Ackleys, making Vadriana thirty eight. Ackleys pop uh the Reaper and we can start swinging. That's kinda cool. Um F Lance. Um we'll get the other phalanx. Effective phalanx coming to the monster zone. Effective phalanx coming to the monster zone. Um, we will then. Oh, Book of Eclipse! Okay, interesting. Um, set. Set. Set so all of these will go. Yeah, I know they fall off. I know they fall off. Um, your guy sets as well. Um, ooh, so we'll set this. Um, uh, we can get aggressive with the red eye sword, but I mean we're only going to meet the same set reaper. So I mean I'm cool to just end and draw three. End phase. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, how about that? So we've got a Book of Moon. We got a, he's got a Reaper. Um, not sure where he goes now, because the Reaper can't deal with the Phalanxes. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, Aklis destroys a card on the field, which is always good, so we can still get with the Reaper if it's face down. So I'm pretty, pretty confident about my, my position. Okay, so the Dark Hole comes down. That's okay. And the Reaper, pal. Yep, there we go. Next turn. Okay, so we'll draw. Yep, we'll, we'll, we'll take a draw. So we have one, two, three, four dragons in grave. I'm tempted to just like go ham with a go ham with a red eyes sword. Like that's something we can just do here. Um, ooh, it's difficult. Um, F ravine. Yeah. Uh, we'll go with the ravine. Uh, we'll get rid of one of the hermoses because we only really need one. Um, uh, let's see now. We're gonna. Uh, sorry, I got distracted by his by his post. I'm a YouTuber, uh, people watch my games. Uh, so if we normal the ducks, okay, so he's like, okay, um, F ducks, sorry, F phalanx. Uh, okay, so he's gonna T roll. Oh, that that's that's perfect actually because now I know that I don't have to go like really aggressive. Thank you for that information. Um so on this one we're just gonna go synchro synchro. Um 
Vajrayana effect. Attaching Phalanx. Eh, Phalanx. I mean, this just lets me stop my grave even more. Uh, to Monster Zone, Synchro, Synchro. Uh, Stardust. Um, battle phase, main phase two, end. Four cards in my opponent's hand. This isn't. No, nah, I I know that assault mode dragoonies is good fun, but I just ah uh, couldn't find it within my heart to play it. Um, I'll thin the deck. We'll 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 take that terraforming and thin. Uh, for the pseudo space because that's our third ravine at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and go. Leggy on air effect. Uh, special summoning out the phalanx. Um, to monster zone. Drop off the phalanx. Special summon the mistletane. Effect of mist. It's going to attach the phalanx again. F phalanx. It's gonna. Yep. Um, synchro. Oh no 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 no. We're not gonna synchro now. We're gonna hermos now. Activate the claw of hermos. T raw comes down. So we're going to drop off the Phalanx, special summon forth the Black Dragon Sword. Um, it's the book, it's like the book series of uh, of Avatar, right, or something like that. Like I just I just wanted a, a name. Um, that's annoying, because I wanted to swing. Um, well, no bother, no bother. Um, Effect of Black Dragon Sword uh, attached to Miss Latane. Spot trap. Because at least now the Stardust can prevent it being destroyed by things like MST. Um, we'll set an intimidating back row and we'll make battle phase, main phase 2, end! Two T roars. You can only have so many of them. And the Mislatane is on 21 plus, well, 21, 31, 36, 41, 46, 51, 56. Pretty snazzy. 56. So, big boy, where do you want to go with this one? Next turn. Draw another mislatane. So we'll go battle sandbar phase, main phase one, battle phase oof. <laughs> cool thing is, if we had another brander stock in deck, we could add the brander stock to the mislatane, but that's not to be. Um cool thing is though we can sack this legionnaire. Um I'm gonna sack the legionnaire. Special summon this mislatane. F mist. Um, I think we're going to use it to get the phalanx. Um, move the phalanx to the monster zone. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to keep him in defense because if this is a t, if this is a goddamn t roar again, I'm just going to mephist him, stop burning him as well. Just, just because I can. Um, Battle phase. Uh, I should have gone for game, really. Uh, attack. I really should have gone for game. I'm so stupid. Marshmallow! No! Okay. I mean, that means we can just scrap dragon it instead. Uh, just drop these two off. For. The dragon, oh, yeah, dragon that is scrap. F scrap dragon. Target the left 
um, the set card closest to my extra deck and your back row. We'll pop it with the we'll pop the back row first and then we'll come back for the marshmallow next turn. Because ultimately you can't pop the whole field. Ooh, such a trollsy deck. Oh, okay, so he's just talking shit. Okay. Um Yeah, I know I destroy. And he's getting all aggressive now. Man's getting aggy. I did. I'm not sure what this guy's doing now. Next turn. Draw phase, standby, main, effective ravine, get rid of the pseudo space, add, um, ooh. we can go legionnaire and thin his field of monsters. Uh, yeah, we'll go legion. Uh, normal summon, effect. Getting the Ackleys. Effective Legionnaire to select a face up monster they control and destroy it. This also destroys. So, effective Legionnaire. This to pop this. It is destroyed, my friend. Effective Aklis, pop one of these. If I get any kind of argument that it's not, uh, well, if it's not, it's not a card because it's a token, I'm actually going to kill someone. Okay, um, we'll go battle phase. Uh, attack a token. Attack a token. Attack a token. And attack directly for 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71. Mist is on 7,100. If I'd have thought ahead, I could have done more damage with the lance, but... Come on, buddy. It's on 7,100. Sorry, lag. It's, you, you input the wrong... It's not lag. You took the damage. Please continue correctly. <laughs> oh dear, I I don't like people who. How was it lag? Willingly took the damage. Now you're trying to take back a play. I'm almost tempted to shark. But at the same time, I don't know if there's enough admin. There are loads of admins. I almost want to on principle. But at the same time, I'm up against a 99. So, I mean, is it really worth... 
You really want to cheat? Bring it back. Oh, this guy's just going to keep saying sorry, lag. He can just make a fool of himself on camera. I really don't mind. I should have scrap dragon this as well. I'm so bad. I'm all tilted out because of this guy. Now he's going to chaos me. Next turn. Let's go again. Um. Target the same back row position and your face down monster. Let's see if we can get it done this time, boys. We'll see if this guy's going to have some magical retake again. You know, because uh, apparently lag creates anything you want it to do. Um, can you please destroy this? Destroy, please. I have a feeling this is going to be an admin game. Okay. Battle phase, attack with the Legionnaire. Uh, attack for 28. Does he have Swift Scarecrow? If he does, I can Book of Moon out of it. Uh, chain. Yep. Target the Scrap Dragon. The battle phase does not end. Uh, hang on. Swift Scarecrow Rulings. Scarecrow has to suc successfully uh, stop the attack to then end the battle phase. Similarly to effects like uh, Valk. Con I, I was tr I was trying to continue. I was trying to. Can we swing for the twenty five, please? Ah, uh, why do I not use Dev Pro? Dev Pro is ah. Uh, why did Dev Pro have to be awkward to record on? Uh, okay. Maybe it's two set. Ah, uh, go. Why so many scarecrows? Why? Set of back own passes. Draw. Standby. Main. It's going to be a Waboku. Flip summon. F scrap. Target. Legionnaire. And this. And that. Uh, yeah, I destroy and you destroy. You just said destroy, implying you had no response. Oh wow. So we're going to lose our red dice black dragon sword, which is upsetting. Ah, oh, I don't want to lose my red dice sword. Oh my god. Set, set, set. They don't stay there though. I can flip summon this. Flip summon this. You need to declare 
chains not tell me to resolve my effect but whatever you've already cheated this game regardless I'm just gonna smack talk on this video might me as well attack Twenty-one! Yep. Okay. That's what the card says. Attack for twenty-five. Main phase two. Set. End phase. Flip. Draw. End. Swift. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. I just want to get out of this game. Next turn. Standby. Main. To attack mode. Normal summon. Effect. To send this to the graveyard. Battle phase. Attack. Do you have the swift? No. He has the fader. Main phase two, half scrap. Ping this to ping this. End phase effect harvest. Get this. Go. Just trying to be quick, guys. But when you come up against these stall decks, uh, it kind of gets a bit awkward. Take your turn. There we go. Draws. Uh, sets another back row. Uh, and activates Dim Fissure. Okay, next turn. Standby. Main. F scrap. Target. Uh, back row. Behind it. And your face down. Excuse me. Is that okay? Do you have the chain? Do you have any kind of response, my friend? Anything at all? Anything at all? Okay. Are we going to get a response? Are we going to get a response? Don't think we are. Oh, heavens above. This is the reason why I can't record enough videos in a night. I swear down. Hello? If you fail to respond, I will have to call an admin. There we go. And battle phase, attack, attack, attack. I wait, way, finally. Well, that's one for the watchers. Okay. Uh, it's going to be all crazy about it. Anyway guys, I hope you've all enjoyed. I'll just quickly show you the list that I've been playing. It's definitely by no means great. It's just something I threw together very quickly. Um, like I hope to have a few g gimmicks videos. Like I had this as a gimmick um, and of course I had this as a gimmick and I, you know, it was just something I thought I'd play around with for fun. But ultimately I hope you've all enjoyed. Please feel free to like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to see more of these and um, otherwise yeah, share it with your friends if you think they'd enjoy it and comment down below for what you want to see later on in the book of wind and what you want to see in the book of earth anyway guys this has been jamie the kid 00 peace out bye bye